Residency did not prepare any of us as physicians for this. The reality is when, you know, a community or the world faces a pandemic like this, you jump in and you figure it out. I'm the medical director of the general inpatient wards, and on these wards we see patients who are admitted with COVID positive conditions that are symptomatic. They're not stable enough to be home, but yet they don't need to be intubated. They're not so severe that they need a breathing tube. And I was wondering with my research colleague, Kari Nadeau, how can we find out what treatments there may be? And so she and I worked with the NIH and uh, found out that they are actually trying to create 65 different sites across the world to study this drug, remdesivir. If remdesivir is proven to be effective, then it'll actually be fast-tracked to the FDA for approval for use. And if it's not, the study is an adaptive study. So that means if remdesivir does not prove to be effective, we can quickly switch over to another drug that collectively the NIH decides on should be the next thing to try. It was a synergistic effort that we got one trial launched and now we have three more that we're considering. We describe it as, you know, uh, pressure is a privilege. You know, now that uh, we're under this tight crunch, it's just hopefully making us very productive in a way that we can help our patients.